Hello everybody, this is Dan Bigman. I'm a GPR professor at LearnGPR.com, a division of Bigman Geophysical. And I'm answering a question today from Mohammed Andarwa uh, that I received through LinkedIn. And his question was, uh, how do you calculate RDP? And uh, um, basically, is it necessary to give the information to the, the client when trying to identify utilities? And kind of here, here's the answer. So there's a couple ways to, to calculate RDP. Um, the most popular way, especially when looking at utilities, is to use a hyperbola match. And that basically just models the size of the hyperbola. You want to make sure you do this correctly or else your, your model will be off and your wave velocity will be off. And that's going to put your depths off. So you want to do this correctly and you need to get trained to do this correctly uh, in simulation with the instructor. So feel free to attend one of our courses or take our online courses. Um, but assuming you do it, you, you do it properly, then uh, that's one way, uh, hyperbola matching. You could do things like a CMP to get velocity or RDP. Uh, you could do things like um, physically measure down to a known pipe and you know, and, and calculate it based on the actual depth of a pipe and apply that to other pipes or utilities. Um, is it required to give to a customer? Uh, it's not necessarily, it's a little bit of a loaded question, but it's not necessarily required to give to a customer. Uh, it's something that you want to give if you need depth. And so that's really when RDP comes into play because RDP is basically the inverse of wave velocity. And so wave velocity determines you know, how deep something is. I mean, it, it's, it's whatever depth it is. It takes however long it takes to get to that depth and come back. And if you can estimate the wave velocity, you can get potentially an accurate estimate of depth to that target of interest. And so if you care about depth, then yeah, you have to do it. If you don't care about depth, it's not necessary. I mean, you might have the option. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm switching hands here. My, this hand was getting tired. And so I had to bring this hand into the camera. Um, so it may not be necessary, right? You may just, they may just care about the X and Y coordinates. Like where is the thing, mark it on the ground. I don't care about depth because I'm gonna avoid it laterally. But if they care about depth, then it's something that's critical uh, to do. So make sure that you learn how to do that properly. I hope this was helpful and added some value. Uh, please go ahead and click the subscribe button to the channel so we can keep growing the community here and share the channel with a friend, a colleague, a classmate and have them subscribe, please. I would, it would mean a lot to me. Um, go ahead, like the video if you liked it, and go to learngpr.com, put your name and email address in, and we will, uh, you'll get access to our free introductory webinar, and uh, we'll send you emails with free videos like this uh, almost every single week, and we'll send you information on upcoming training programs that we have. So, thank you for watching, and good luck in the field.